Hello, Ivan. I got your great video of your engine idling and the Solexes. And the uh, I think the short answer to your question is you have a vacuum leak. But let's do some checking beforehand and lead up to the uh, vacuum leak situation. Uh, what I, uh, You were mentioning that you thought the second barrels were sticking. And you can check that very easily by putting your thumb on the, uh, as the car idles, put your thumb on the counterweight on the second barrel of each carburetor one at a time and see if that changes your idle. Also, understand that there is a relationship between this counterweight right here and your throttle because the, you notice that this one moves just a little bit and this one should move just a, a, just a hair. This shaft is, ha, is connected to your first barrel by a set of, by a jam nut and a set screw. Let's see if I can get it where you can see it. Okay, right, right down here. Okay, right down here. This screw on the left goes down and pushes on a pin that's attached to the second barrel shaft. And this is a, a, a lock nut or jam nut, a screw rather, that uh, holds these, holds this clap, clamp down and keeps this screw here in position. And what you want to do, and what, what happens is when you uh, accelerate, open the throttle, and then you, your second barrel opens up, as the first barrel closes, that screw right here hits on the pin and artificially closes your second barrel. And so if you have this misadjusted, you can actually be uh, artificially opening your first barrel um, or forcing it to stay open. And you just you want to make sure that there's a little interplay between the two, but uh, not so much. Not this screw is not so tight that it's actually uh, forcing your first barrel open. Um, so you want to double check that, make sure that's not part of the the issue. And as you adjust your idle speed right here, it will also uh, affect the clearance between uh, this uh, screw right here and, and the pin that on the second barrel. So they're all interconnected. Um, what you also want to do is to make sure that you don't have a linkage issue. So what you can do while this is idling, you will pop this linkage off and see if there's a change in the RPM. Uh, this is one of the issues with uh, multiple carburetors and multiple linkages. Uh, getting them all synced up so that uh, they operate in unison, but they don't. Uh, one of them is not out of whack enough to uh, adjust or art alter your idle. And uh, you want to use a little ATF in here to lubricate the uh, ball in the socket. And your mission is to have this. That's why you've got a turnbuckle right here. And uh, your mission is to use this turnbuckle to dial in the uh, length of this rod so that when it snaps in position, it does not idle the RPM. Um, the issue that I think you're having is the vacuum leak. And I think that's taking place right here where your intake manifold bolts to your cylinder head. The, the problem is that this uh, you've got a common nut and a common washer putting pressure on your aluminum intake manifold and your cast iron exhaust manifold. And the cast iron stays the same thickness forever. The aluminum, from the pressure of this uh, thick common washer pressing on the aluminum, that aluminum actually migrates and will, will become thin. And what that does is allows the, uh, the, the aluminum to no longer have good contact with your intake, uh, I'm sorry, with your uh, cylinder head. And you'll get uh, a vacuum leak down inside here. So what I suggest you do is the car is idling, take something like Chem Tool or, or uh, WD-40 or a um, little spritzer of water, and as the engine idles, spray it down here where the um, intake manifold bolts to the cylinder head and see if your idle changes. What will happen is if you have a vacuum leak, the, the vacuum will draw in the, the fluid. If it's 
WD-40 or B-12, the engine will uh, speed up a little bit. If it's watered, you spritz down there, the engine's going to uh, stumble and try to die. Another thing people don't realize is there's a huge amount of weight hanging off the side of the engine. So as the engine idles, try to pick up on the carburetors. See if, they, if you can actually move them, and if picking up on them changes your idle. That's another indication you've got a uh, vacuum leak. And I've also got a um, video out there that shows using a half-moon washer to um, uh, correct the uh, lack of pressure on your intake manifold and, and seal it up against the cylinder head. So that's what I think the noise is that I heard on your video is a vacuum leak. A vacuum leak can manifest itself in many different ways, and one of which is making a strange squealing or metal-on-metal -metal, uh, sound, uh, which actually is, is kind of like a high-pitched whistle. So I hope this helps. Ivan, let me know if, the, if, if, if this diagnostics helps and uh, if you figure out what the problem is. Thanks and good luck.